Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And we are going to now test out Romarus and Shion and Sufia, technically, in Valor Cup, normal Valor Cup. So the current rules still apply right now, where if you activate protection twice, you get 100% pierce power and then all reamers have 30% defense. This season ends in like two days or something. So we don't know the upcoming rules. They could be drastically different. They could also change our starting hands as well. So I think what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna play two battles in this um, specific setting. And I'm, this'll probably go out by the time yeah, it will go out by the time the uh, the new season starts, and then we'll play two battles in the in whatever new rules happen. So we'll have two probably different team setups, maybe still relatively the same, but who knows? But this is what we're gonna run first off. Romarus is gonna hopefully give us a whole bunch of alt gauge every single turn after we can get her activated. Uh, Shion and the hero are gonna be our space DPSs, and then we've got orb changers aplenty plus Isis buffing. And we also have, you know, two charms right here that we can just get extra alt gauge. So, in theory, this should probably work. Probably. Uh, but I have, this is our first, this is my first time taking any of them in a Valor Cup. So it will be uh, a learning experience for all of us. Unless you've already used them, in which case then you're just going to judge me harshly. So our first opponent is, I think, 411k EP. So he's not... He's not too up there. Oh, it's Doctor Doom. Well, I think this team is just—he hasn't—he hasn't changed his defense teams lately. Okay, because he still has Fire 1.0. All right, so let's see. So Reamer's got the defense. So we're gonna just do what we've always done and do his orb change into Five Blue, and then we'll send him away for the hero. And we have a whole space front line, and I think we're gonna hit Milum. Pop, pop, pop. Uh... Uh, Hero's probably going to hit the hardest because she's level 100. Okay. Uh, it's not enough to get Melm to swap out, so he's going to change probably one green or one or the orange, whatever works. All right. So four blues onto the hero, which is fine because we still have, you know, Shion and Sufia technically as our AoE. They're all AoE. So let's go ahead and rewind here. We can send the blues now. Um, on Milam to get her out of here, because she does change blues. Or she just changed green to blues. Okay, so the rewind kicks in. We don't get any extra s cool orbs out of sh Okay, well, I mean, that works. <laughs> Alright, so God was playing nice. So let's get the hero out since she's low on health. Let's get the green buff on, and then we will use Romarus. Technically, maybe I should have left the hero in and gotten that, but it wouldn't really have mattered. And then we'll start hitting Betty Maru, I guess. So this will get both uh, Shion and Sufia's alts after the Romarus kicks in next turn. So then we'll have two AoE alts, and then we can buff that a little bit with the hero. And then I think we'll be all set. I think, yeah, we'll send Sufia first to see if we can kill somebody, and then we'll throw Shion next after that, which I actually don't think is going to kill anyone, so... Alright, let's do this. So, three hero orbs, that's fine. We'll do the crit, we'll do the pierce, we'll do the charm strike on Gobta, since we have type advantage over both Hakuro and Milam. So we'll do that, and that'll take up all of our points. And actually, maybe we send Shion first. Uh, yeah, we'll send Shion first, and then we'll follow up with Sufia, and then the rest of these hero orbs. And I think we're good. So Shion almost wipes. Doesn't quite clear Gopta, but he's like he's right there. So they drop those two. Sufia's gonna now kill probably everybody because they're just all at low health. So, yeah, I mean, 8,000 isn't great, but it was enough to do the job. So, I mean, turn 3 wipe, that was pretty effective right there. I'm not a, um, I'm not terribly concerned about that. Would it have been easier with probably Space Guy? Maybe, because then we would have had a whole hand of greens, and then still probably would have had ults regardless. Um, but I think Romerus helps a little bit more if you are less reliant on Orb RNG, 
and just want to get buffs on all of your AoEs immediately. I think this works pretty well, but let's try it again. Oh, we have level ups for, we have a level up for Yuki. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Let's take a looky look at what we have next. I think we'll just cut actually. All right, so let's try this again. Oh, Valor, Valor Cup effect. Is this new? I don't think I ever realized that button was there. Stage effect, and then we have we can see the individual Valor traits. Hmm. I never realized that button was there. All right, we're learning every day. Learning every day. So this will be the last fight we do in this season of Valor Cup with this specific team. That way we can get two battles with and two battles with whatever new rules come out in a couple days. So uh, I think I still want to try and hit Milam. Because she still is the orb changer. She's used changing blues to oranges, which I mean she could do. Um, but I think we have more luck getting her out of here. Or at least having her get swapped out. Uh, yep, there we go. Oh no, they kept her in. Okay. So four blues, they're hitting Xion now, which is fine because we still have three AoE units, and that will... Okay, yeah, that'll work. So let's do this. And... Uh, let's just go ahead and send all that on... Uh, let's say... Shizu now. So we can get that going. And then I think we're safe to just... Uh... Like, swap out... Sh 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 yeah, we could probably swap out Sufia. No, actually, so who has the most orbs here? Um, we have no green, so this is, I think this is the downside of using Romarus versus Guy, is that on the rewind turn, you know, with Guy, you'd have a full hand of greens plus 35% alt gauge, which 35% alt gauge plus a whole hand of buffed ass greens from uh, Isis is going to be one and a half alts and not just 45%. So I think that is the drawback of using this, but this does ensure that you can you can get alts next turn and then the turn after and the turn after without really having to worry about it. But I think Guy will just help you kill more efficiently, um, for lack of a better way of explaining that. Um, man, I really don't have a good way out of this, do I? I don't even know if we use, I think we just stay here. And then just use the blues, since where I'm not really concerned about buffing green, since we only have one. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just send these blues. We'll definitely get Sufia's ult next turn. And then, uh, can we actually use her orb change now? That could work out pretty well. We might have to get Xion out of here. Um, we can almost use... Well, actually, no, we can use orb change because it doesn't really matter because we're going to send Sufi's ult, so actually that works out fairly well. So we can do that orb change, and then we could swap Xion out for Isis, so we don't have her die, and then we can use the green buff, and yeah, I think we'll look pretty good here. So we'll do some decent damage. I think we'll send the AoE, and then follow up on Benny Maru, since he has the most amount of HP, and we'll try and get everyone kind of nice and even, or just murderize <laughs> Millum. <laughs> All right, in comes Dark Rimuru. Okay. Okay, so Benny Mara's dead. That's good. Who else comes in from the back? So this is all he's left with now. And it is Dark Melon. Okay. Uh, he could probably use an orb change yet for four greens right there. And so now we have the Hero's Alt. We're going to get Sufia's Alt again from the uh, Romarus. And then we have 100 points, and then we can just do that. And, uh, I mean, I guess we can bring you back in. It doesn't really matter. We can use the Pierce power, even though we didn't use the crit at all. Uh, Charm Strike for funsies. Not that it matters. Use Romarus again. We'll put the Charm on Milla. We'll put the Charm on Rimuru, just so we can do extra damage to him with you, in case you don't die. And yeah, I think we're done here. So, protection skill seal, that's uh, Shion's trait, so that's good, even if he happened to live. The hero's gonna hit a lot harder than that. The hero kills, okay, there we go. And we got 
pierce. We double pierce there. Interesting. Okay. Um, it's pierce power, not pierce rate that the stage gives, right? The stage effect? Right? I feel like it is. Uh, that, I think that was just a very lucky natural pierce on... Um, from the hero. Because Shion gives herself pierce. She doesn't give anybody else pierce. Stage effect. Um, increase the vanguard allies pierce power. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, yeah. Oh, look. The perfect lineup of enemies. Okay, well, we will continue this uh, in three days once the season is over, and then we'll see what new fun team activities we can do. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we are back for... Let's turn this a little bit. We are back for part two of the Romarus and Shion kind of Valor Cup showcase. We are now in season four, which means there is new rules applied. So our starting hand has changed to three green, two orange, and one blue. So no more water Rimuru on the team. And then for the actual rule, we only have one. And that is when you use 90 skill points before the opponent does... You increase your AoE attack until the end of battle by 25%, which we know that AoEs are really good here. However, that really only applies to alt damage, because there's really no other skills that do um, AoE. They have the instant damage skills, but those are based off your start of fight stats, right? Those do not change. You can apply a buff to yourself. You can put an attack buff on yourself. You can put crit on yourself. You can put pierce on yourself. None of that matters for the instant damage skills. It just takes whatever attack stat you have at the start of the game, whether it be 7,000, 5,000, whatever, and then just puts the multiplier on it and sends it out. The only way you can do that and change it is if you put modifiers or debuffs on the enemy. So like the AoE debuff for like Guy or something, that can work. Or you lower their defense, or you lower their space, or water, or fire resistance. Like that works. This should only affect alt damage if it, you know, if it plays the same as everything else in the game has. So, yeah, our alts will do 25% more damage. Cool. Let's get to that point. Um, I've already changed the, the team a little bit, so going with the, um, the orb changing now, we've got Isis still, since we're still in a green-focused team. Shinsha, Hero, Ranga is going to be our orange orb changer. You could easily replace him with Sufia or free to play Aaron. It doesn't really matter. He's just, he's stronger than those units, so that's why I have him. And then we will have Shion as our primary DPS. This is the first time, I literally just built this team. This is, a, this is the first video recording after the season started, so I have not tried it yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. We have four more attempts in Valor Cup right now to try it, and if it doesn't work, well then we'll just cut and I'll just explain why that didn't work. And then we'll change the team as a, as a, we need to. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, they're even out of order. Oh, that's not that's not aesthetically pleasing right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I know. I mean, I personally don't have actual OCD, but this ticks me off. So I can only imagine someone with actual OCD being like, "Why is it one three two? That makes no fucking sense." And so, okay. All right. Well. <laughs> regardless, let's go ahead and bring Ranga in for Isis. Let's get his orb change going. He also serves as a backup AoE DPS unit, so... I mean, he won't do the most damage. He doesn't have any real big, like, big-time buffs that he can put on himself. But I mean, he can still do AoE damage. And then let's take Shinsha out for Shion. And then we'll go ahead and send this on... Someone with red hair. We're gonna hit somebody with red hair on this team. <laughs> um... I guess we'll hit Benny Maro since he will change those two oranges to greens. So pop, 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 and pop. 
Yeah, that gets us drastically less um, protection gauge than we got last season. All right, he's dead. Cool. This wasn't a very strong team. It was like 398k, but it was still the highest on the fire side, so... All right, so we got a whole bunch of blues right here. That's good. And we should have enough points to use the orb change from Isis and her green buff. And that will help us, um, you know, be a little bit more effective here. They're hitting Ranga, which is fine, because we can just get him out of here. So let's green buff. And then, uh, actually, do we rewind? I think we rewind here, actually, since we have a, we have a half spread, right? And we have more blues coming in. Um, yeah, let's 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 rewind now. All right, and then we'll get the hero out of here since we've already used that. And now, do we send the blues? Do we send the greens? Knowing that we have another blue coming in, that gets us twenty points. So that puts us at forty-five. Um. Let's use the green buff, I guess. Alright, so let's just help us get that a little higher. And then I think we'll keep hitting Millum. Alright, so there's 40 points. And now the rewind kicks in. Hopefully give me a whole bunch of blues here. A decent amount of blues. I'll take it. I will take that. Alright. Pop, 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 and pop. Now that gets us almost one and a half, or more than one and a half protection Romarus, so that's good. So we can start applying the alt buff to ourselves next turn. And then we can also give ourselves 40 points, which can't really use much for that right here. So I guess we can charm two people for funsies, so we'll charm guy... Alright, there's the 90 points, so now we have the AoE buff right here. So, increases all target damage, all target attack by 25% stage forever. We don't have an instant damage character here to attempt to see the difference, so maybe, you know, we could apply that next time. We could bring, like, Space Belzart instead for an Orb Changer. Uh, that can totally work. Let's go ahead and use Romarus to give us the 40 points and give us the Vitalization. What a word. Also, we got that heal charm on, so it healed It healed a little bit. And between these two charms and the 45, we're going to get Shion's ult next turn. So I think we can go ahead and take Isis out, bring the hero back in, and we should we should get everybody's ult. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. There's only a okay, case. So, yeah. I think we're going to send these three oranges, so let's hit you. Okay. So then she gets swapped out for trainee, okay, with our entire space team. But then we should get the charms, and then the alt. Oh, I, I, I didn't have it on the hero, that's right. Okay, well we still got Shion and we still got Shinsha, so cool. We have 74 points, so we can go ahead and use the crit buff and then the pierce buff for Shion. No alt buff as well, but, you know, we didn't have two Romerus, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and send the AoE. That should do a lot of damage because these two targets are charmed. And then, unfortunately, we have to send a single target probably against um, Trainee. I think we'll send these two, though, first, and then we'll send Shinsha. We'll see. Maybe I should have sent Shinsha first to lower her trainee's pierce resistance. That may have been a better call there. Uh, okay, that was good damage. Good damage. It, it wiped the two that you know, mattered. And then Milam comes in. She will die from this normal. And then, okay, well, she's going to die anyways. So that worked. Uh, it's not as smooth as... Um, Definitely like the last season with the blues because you already start out with so much protection gauge out on turn two after you use the orb change. But here, I don't know. I, I, I kind of... Yes, giving me 40 skill points is good in the event that I can use a double buff, but in, like you don't really need two 55 point buffs, right? I think I would rather just have Guy, you know, giving me the 35% alt gauge but then a full hand of greens that are also buffed by Isis by, you know, gauges for 50%. I mean, I feel like that is more efficient for this team. 
But Romers does work, and she can give you a lot of alt gauge. So let's uh, let's try it again, I guess. Maybe against a higher opponent. Okay. Well, he skipped a match because it was they were all like 200,000 EP, but one of them was giving me a charm. So I didn't really figure that was a battle to record. I just wanted the charm. So we're back. This is a much better fight. It's like 412 EP or something like that. So let's try again with the same strategy. We'll get Isis out for Ranga. We'll go ahead and use his orb change. And then I think we bring you in for Shinsha. So that way we have our three AoE units up front now. And this time we're going to continue to try and hit the Fire 2.0 Benimaru. And I think we send the hero last, since she is level 100. All right, we got a guard in there. That's unfortunate. And yeah, ooh. could have done a little bit better damage there. All right, but it wasted it, so cool. That was a lot of instant damage, though. Holy crap. Ooh, that, oh, that, that hurt a lot. Wow. Okay, well, Shion, you're, uh, you're going away. Let's, uh, hmm, 55 points, huh? Let's go ahead and, huh, I think we're going to use the rewind here. And we'll bring in Shinsha, and then we'll charm Benny Maru. Okay, and then we'll send this on that Benny Maru because I don't want him to live anymore. Okay, good, he does die. <laughs> Thank God. All right, so rewind will hit. We'll we have enough for Romarus now. Oh, the hero, unfortunate. All right, is there anything I can do about that? Not really. See, like, here would be a good time to use Guy, because I would have a full six hand. I could bring in Isis for Ranga since he has his ult. I could use her green buff, and then we could get at least an ult for Shinsha. But we'd have, you know, six greens, 35% ult gauge, the AoE debuff. Like, I think that would be much more important than 40 points here. And 45% alt gauge next turn. So, I mean, we might as well use it. Because I think with the charm and with that, we'll get the hero's alt. Um, we don't need Ranga up front, though. So let's go ahead and get him out of here. And then we'll just do this. And I think... we use, Okay, we use Romerus. There's 40 points right there. And that gives us 73 now. So if I were to do that, I would have four four greens that are buffed. Sure, let's let's try it out. We should have enough to get at least the hero's crit buff after this. So let's go ahead and send this on the hero. It's not gonna kill her, unfortunately, or even get close. Yeah. All right. So they're probably gonna rewind if they have the points, which they don't. So thank God for that. But this should give us triple ult. <sighs> Almost. Almost. Unfortunate. See, okay, so yeah, if I had Guy, we'd have gotten 35% ult gauge, but we've had a whole hand of greens that are buffed. So yeah, I'm like, Romerus can work if she's all you got in Valor Cup, but there's just the superiority of the 3 and 3 orb changer protectors especially on metas that are focusing on green. You could still use Shizu, even though we're not getting that Pierce buff anymore. Guy, I mean, he's probably one of the better... He's probably number one or number two for Valor Cup. It's a toss-up between him and, and um, Toa. But I think Toa suffers from not having a lot of orange boosters versus, you know, green having free-to-play Isis and free-to-play Misery to boost greens. So I think that is just a little bit better heads-up for you. So let's go ahead and do this. This will get the hero's alt and Shinsha's alt alongside, you know, the skill from Romers. So that'll give Isis her alt as well. Now they've kicked the rewind in, so maybe my hero dies here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so 
if they use their rewind, the charm kicks in. Because it is technically the end of their turn, right? Okay, so I mean, that's something, I guess. Alright, so we have Ranga now. So we still have, yeah, so we got double charm there. And we got double Romarus. Okay, I mean, not that it's ever going to happen, because in PvE, no one uses Rewind. Uh, but in Valor Cup, that's good to know. So I've got a double alt with Shinsha, almost a double alt with Isis, and we already had an alt with Ranga. So now we can just use Shinsha's alt buff and resistance down on one person, which I guess we're going to put on Benny Maru. And then what's this? Pierce rate and guard penetration? Sure, why not? Okay, so let's do that, that, and then that, that, that. And this should wipe. Alright, so there's a single target. Ranga's AoE should do good damage here. There we go. And then who comes in from the back? Diablo. Wind. Not a good choice for him. Does this go to Ranga? This goes to Diablo. Alright, so Diablo's dead here. Which just leaves Gopta. Alright. Yeah. Uh... I mean, we can do one more. I don't really think we need to. That gave Gopta his ult. No one's giving him crit, though. So, yeah. he's Ranga still might die here. No, we guarded. Okay. So, there's the ults for Isis and Shinsha. So, let's just go ahead and delete him. We'll do one more match, I think, but I think we've... I think we know that I would prefer other protectors over Romerus, but she can... She can work, especially if they use Rewind. I mean, that's a... If you don't die, that's a free ult right there, because you got two turns, technically, to get Romerus going um, for the cost of one for her skill. Okay. All right, last fight. We're going up against the wind meta, because we ran out of the fire ones. Um... Or, I mean, same as always right here. I'm... I'm, o I'm, I'm okay with Romerus. I'm not terribly impressed with her. I think when we do... Like, if I do another showcase for Xion and Shinsha and, like, the Space 3.0, we're gonna bring Guy instead. He still leads Space, um, and I just think he has better viability than Romerus. We have seen that she does have a few... Um, Interesting things about her that you know if they use if they happen to use a rewind they can kind of screw themselves over because it'll give us a double alt. But other than that, I don't I don't really know. Let's take out Valentine. Um, since she's the orb changer, will she die here? She will not die, but she'll get swapped out for Ranga. Okay. So there's his orb chain. Wait. Wait, what? He only got four. Oh, it used Shuna's orb change. Okay, sure, whatever. Alright, let's take a Shion out of here for Isis, since you have no orbs. And then we'll use her orb change, we'll use the green buff. Maybe I should have used the rewind instead, but oh well. Um, let's work on Aranga, since he is another orb changer. That almost gets us Romerus. Ah, unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of orange. Right. Hitting Ranga a lot. So let's get him out of here now. We'll bring Shion back in. Uh, we'll send all these oranges. Uh, that'll give us the hero's ult. So, I mean, that's a start. Ranga should die, so that'll pull in the final unit. And then we can crit buff with the hero. Because uh, Lumi's going to get swapped out for Dark Diablo. Okay. Interesting. Well, because we have Romerus and we haven't used really anything yet, we can, we can buff the crap out of uh, the hero now. So let's go ahead and take out Isis. We've got almost a full hand of greens, so let's use the crit buff. And then we... So there's the AoE attack power now, because we've we used 90 skill points. Let's get Romers for the extra 40. And now we're going to use the alt buff from Shinsha. And then... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, that's her own. And what's this? Enamor Strike. 
pierce resistance, which, you know, hero doesn't have pierce. We can use rewind for funsies. Let's just empty out our skill points. Alright, so, goodbye, team, and this will be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys thought of, you know, Space 3.0, mostly. Oh, 60k. Inside uh, Valor Cup, I personally was not overly impressed with it, but, you know, orb changing is critical. Full hands is critical. Um, so, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.